Here we go. Actually, I have not checked, so there we go. Just, just trying to get that. Exactly. Okay, I got you. I'm going to Sweet. All right. Let's do this. And... Okay. Keep. I just ran to realize that I did. Okay. I will get out my dice. Handy dandy. 18. Alright, Matt, pay two or. This guy. Next turn. No, but at the end, you're still happy. More folks? Mm hmm. Again. Yay. Get a little dry. Hmm. I hate it when you put Steve Jones. I thought this was just a bit of a Alright, one, two, three, four, five, start so, huh? This is where we should have saved it. Let me read it. Uh, yeah, go ahead. So, he is now at five. Because you know who needs Flash, Pastor. You only want to put in that Nin Knight. And since you're doing extra delta combat, too long. Well, no, no, that's a Pizzle Walker, not Comfort. That is, that's a Pizzle Walker. But then that's until the end of the turn, right? Yeah. So then he would have been No, it's just an element. I was like, what? Yeah. 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 Alright, so I'm not going to snap. Yep. 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 Yep.
Yeah, like Murder, you, you can exile it, and then it comes back as a Zen snap. It just doesn't... Pelvis Arch Druid? Yeah. I would like to swing 3-2 uh, at you. Uh, okay. Main 2. Nettle Sentinel? Mm -hmm. Last turn. Maybe this game. Maybe the deck will do what it's supposed to do. So far it's not, but okay. Hi. Hi, Master. Thankfully you are not a power phone. Swing two in the air. You could do however fly. So I'll block with a flying robo. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's a fairy. It's a fairy. It's a fairy. Okay, good deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blockers be blocking like every day. Wait, hold on. That right though, and then in response. I'm gonna do my best Murpho compression uh, here. Put down another Lord. Sure. I'm gonna put my slivers commander. Get sliver overlord? Yep. I will swing 10 at you, or 11. I'd like to see your hand. Okay, you have a despise of this deck now. I didn't even know it. There you are. Creature finds longer. Raise your hand back. I get to see it too. Snagging the arch tree? Yeah. Um, yeah, that'll do it. Um, still one more. Right? So, noisily killed, at least. Four damage, two one one slivers with first strike. Warriors, close enough. And the last one is reveal a hand, choose creature from it. No, it's a non creature beyond. Okay, trade. So you take. Five. Okay, Main two. So CJ, hmm. um, what do I have you at now? I'm at eleven. Just for the camera's sake, I mean. Hmm. Did I play a land this turn? No. Okay, he has the Misty, but yeah, that's right. It was last turn because we were saying that about the fetch being missed. Okay. I'm interested to see how it goes. This is what I'm debating whether it comes in. Yeah. What did I take out for it? I don't know scout was way better. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That dude, I don't know what he does. Uh, I have one of those. Yeah, one of those. Yeah, is it like around month? Shock? Oh, yeah. Trigger? Last turn. Two. Judge! We have rules advisors. Do we have a judge here today? Uh, okay. More folk. Mm -hmm. Hi. No hard red for my rattle flow.
Really? You think it's a special field off me? Or don't this is like that be on creatures? Alright, I'm gonna switch my eyes here. Alright, let's see, and then I'm going to do... Arch Strike? Results? Don't normally leak me, bro. And then one... May I see your great three, 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 Ah, excellent. That's blue. I do run blue, actually. Okay, uh, you want to go Swing. These are all three threes. And then a four four. So, math tie. Thirteen. Mm. What are you at? Three green mana. Okay. That's interesting. Alright, CJ. Front hand, back hand. Back hand. There we go. Doesn't that suck? Okay. Okay. Uh, I will swing at John for five. And then tap those two. This is now a three. Um, one on each land of war? Yep. Okay, these will trade, and these will trade. Okay. Profit, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. That's to you. Name two. <laughs> Thank you, Heaven. You, you can't ether vial something else, and you don't have haste, so. Last turn. Uh, I guess I will just swing it down five, six, seven, eight. That's five, four, that's three. Yeah, let me ask you, since we're talking about it. Uh, four, five, five, six, flash in, and three match blocking out. Which bird sees on my island? Okay. So, so, seven, seven, draw a card. This does it. Uh, Full of right? awesome. Yeah. Hi, Lord. Yes. Pass you. Oh, Lord. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and give it a puzzle. this puzzle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, I'm going to draw a card. Well, I'm that. That was loaded in these two tiny bits okay, in my mercy. Whoa! You did not untap. That's important. Yeah. Yeah, my bad. Oh, that's no problem. I didn't catch it either. This is the I Yeah, I'll block the arbor. Alright, you know the drill. Yep. Uh, bounce it and tap. Eight. Scrib Ranger? I may have to look at the Oracle text or the ruling on. I don't think that when Dryad Arbor comes back in, it will untap Nettle Set. Because I'm not casting it. So, But I know that this is antiquated text. It says play instead of cast. I'm sad that it's not on that. I'm not sure on that either. Honey, can I borrow that for just a quick sec? Okay, we're good like this. And we can just cut this part out. Um, metal, and that should be enough for to come up. Be the one. Cast. Okay, nope, won't do it.
Uh, pass turn. That's good. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 Play it out. I'll, I'm not going to see the man, but play it out. Caster? Uh, into your Does it resolve? We're <laughs> loading each other now. That's interesting. But I only need two to get through, so. Yeah, I think so. Let's do it. Okay. Again, we know the drill. We're gonna pop dry and arbor back. And tap Scrib Ranger. Alright, uh, Yeah, you think you're gonna get Okay. 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 Okay.
Looks like that we have these cards. Oh, there's eight. Oh, yeah, that's right, because he doesn't count himself, but he gets counted. Eight. Oh, you have me at 12. Eleven. Eleven. I fetched. Jay, wake up. Whenever a creature dies, I'm sure you're a Well, you know my next. Chris, draft. I got it. Until we play Jay's action. On your turn, you get a free die roll. That's death present. Yeah. No? If you. This is a different effect. If you roll a one, it activates that bottom effect. If you roll a six, you play Jay's action. We'll put this on the bottom. No, thank you. I'm alright. Okay. Oh my gosh, we have to roll one, guys. Roll one with your one with your one point four, one point four. Skull strats. No. Two of my So yeah, each plane has different effects. So let's start with one first. Roll for you guys. Dim stall strats. Yeah, yeah. 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 a whole bunch of stuff. Here's plus two, plus two there. Plus three. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. I will block for catcher and then tap for green to use Azirius region. I will still take nine. You have me at two. So these are good. All right. Do you guys want to do? Oh, you start as a one one. Okay, that's good. All right, so the, again, the card right, showed up um, finally did not do me any good. You can tell I'm getting tired. I can tell I'm getting tired. Let's try this again. Okay, see how we're doing. And it's funky, I guess. That's yeah, I got you. I don't think I'd get a better six. Actually, even if we were getting catch, I would have to make a timeline. So it's automatically uh, you're reading yeah. and then yeah. you oh, yeah. all of a sudden you're yeah. like, okay, I'm going yeah. to pass me in or no? Uh, right. 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 What? You don't have to choose not to get the amount of amount. Yes, sir. You have to get the amount of amount. You have to. You have to. It's not you, mate. Swing two. No blocks. Uh, I should tap away from Sarah and tap at UA and then tap for color. Main two? Yeah. Two, one, and two. Two, one, and two. Two, one, Cast trigger? That's like 5 o'clock. What is going on, Cast trigger? Yeah. Hi, Master. Pass you. That does not sound good. <laughs> never does, never does. Yeah. Stay here. Right. Okay. Uh, I will swing two at you. No padding. Get you down to 16. Pay two for a birthing pot. Sure. You're at 13. Did I shock again? I shocked again. Let's see. Fetch, shock, shock. Two. Yep, 13. And then untap. And pass turn. Oh, and suddenly the deck becomes whatever the battle of the century for a job. The tribal battle of the century. And I really want Yeah. Birthing pod. Birthing pod. I'm going to talk to an old employer. This is the first game that it's actually hit the field for. Out of the nine games that I've played. Or ten. Ten games. People yes, offer his job know him. Hi. And they really respect him. You're the combat? Yes. 
if any help, any help hmm. comes out of it. He can yeah, I think he takes a three here. Four, four damage. Okay. Activate bar. Take four. So. Okay, you have me at nine. Uh, Connections. Matt, what are you doing? Okay, okay, um, um, I might also. Uh, it's in print, so you My brother it works at who works at Billy King. Come on, it's crackling. Come on. Like, yeah. 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 He likes. No. It'd be more. We're all good. See y'all. Okay, I'm going to do it. Take it. Okay. It's getting right now. Let's just see if it's fun. It's getting closer to fall. Nice, crazy, longer game. Oh, yeah. Still got lost. Oh, yeah. 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 Almost the touch of Oh, yeah. You have me at six. Taxes are a nightmare. Okay, fine. Here he is perfect. I should have green. Tap this for black. Tap this for black. Tap this for black. Tap this. Tap this. Tap this for black. Tap this for black. Found out. Well, tap this. Tap this for black. Give her four. This is the fourth child. So. Totally worth it. Yeah. Five. That's right. Four. Elvish Archdruid. See, I got my lords too. However, this is the last one. Wait, and everyone. Okay. See, there we have. They have. Okay. Pastor. The oldest. The oldest. My most niece. She was a surprise. And then there, right, then, we'll die, then, we, then we'll move my nephew, then we have Teal's plan, my nephew, my nephew, my nephew, my nephew, so this is a plan to get my nephew. Okay, I am going to tap the four maroon. I'm not sure if it's turned out that way or not. Um, Trigger Regent? No, yep. no, I'm going to tap the four. No, no, my parents tried to tap down. With, with my oh, with, with my only oh, sister. I could just concede, but I, I feel like just a little Yeah, go for it. Slightly Tap less black than black in the day. And then pay. Hmm. Well, I'll block. <laughs> and die. Uh, okay, good game. Good game. Yeah, so good game. The birthing yeah, pot is the spicy part of this, but when it finally came down, it didn't really matter. Yeah. It's supposed to help me get the dex main combo, which is... Have you ever seen the Cloudstone combo with this before? No. Alright, so one of the issues that we have with the Cloudstone combo is because Green Sun's in with his band, finding the pieces is a little tricky. Right. I prefer the birthing pot because I can keep using it over and over, and I don't just have to get one creature off of it. As opposed to cool oh, dads. Okay. On the other hand, when you use Birthing Pod, you have the issue of Heritage Druid and Metal Sentinel being one drops, which means you have to pod a zero drop. Dried Order and the Furious Perfect tokens are your zero drops. And then you pod into, once you get the Heritage, Metal, Cloudstone, yeah. oh, any other one drop yeah, yeah, yeah. health lets you get infinite yeah, mana. Elvish uh, Visionary gets you infinite draws. Liz a lot of hunt masher gets you infinite creatures. And Power and Toughness goes infinite off Crater Huff once you have infinite creatures. And then it just gets silly. Do I do it? So that's how it's supposed to work. But on the other hand, my deck could just. You could just say no. I could like it. Yeah, totally running through the now I roll. And we were so oh, we were and then so some well, silly little, because I'm running the I actually have a uh, Magus of the Moon in here that I think we can do something to it. Screw Ranger is a hot target. There's the huge crosser that has Herald. Good old guy. Starting with whoever rolled it. Yeah, so the Salt Caesars, Abrupt Decays, One Creepy, and then a bunch of hot targets. Okay. But, you know, 
Yeah, you two are actually you do it. There's a spell slide, there's a friction revoker. Uh, you can hide into Harbinger to pot it or to find something else that you can't pot into. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, I only cited four cards. That's right. I'll do that one. Best of you. I'm gonna keep Alright, this is my elf pod deck. I'll give you a quick little overview of it. You can see the whole thing here. Put it in 1080p. Hopefully you can get the whole thing. Uh, sideboards over there. Everything else is main. Let's zoom in just a bit. Uh, first off, the lands. So we do have the one dried arbor. I'll explain why we have you in a bit. Four basic forest. Yeah, walled. Yeah, fun fact. That's a forest. <laughs> It's a nice little German misprint when it was brought over state. Anyway, um, uh, one of each shop, each green shop, and then 11 fetch lands to go and find all of this beauty. Uh, now, it is a birthing pod deck. We have four, four birthing pods, but we also have three cloudstone curio, so it's a cloudstone deck too. We can combo win in this way, and there's a, probably an, yeah, there's an overlay of me killing with that. And we can try to use Birthing Pod. Uh, it didn't work for me today. Of the ten games, it showed up on the field one. It showed up in my hand two. Uh, we'll get to your honorary. We're, we're getting you in a sec. Uh, now, I'll explain why there's Pod in a bit. Uh, so, six mana dorks. I know, I know. White bordered Lanoir elves, but I should probably get more elves for six. Uh, Heritage Nettle. Enough said. Uh, Enough said, Elvish Visionary is good. That's the sideboard over here. Pod targets. Lots and lots and lots of pod targets. Uh, you know, uh, so Phyrexian Revoker, Spellskite, Scavenging Ooze, Scrib Ranger, Viridian Zealot. Those are my two drops. My three drops are two Elvish Harbingers. Uh, I can pod into them and then find another one. Um, find another elf. Izuri. Imperious Perfect, Elvish Archdruid, Elvish Champion, Reclamation Sage, Magus of the Moon, because you know when you think elves, you think human wizards, uh, Lizalana Huntmaster, and Crater Hope Behemoth. Now, if you don't know the, the usual combo for this deck, what it's supposed to do, the way it's supposed to run, is you get a Cloudstone Curio out, um, and then you get a Nettle Sentinel, a Heritage Druid, for tap untap shenanigans, and you get either a one drop elf, all right, it has to be a one drop elf, or the two drop elvish visionary. The glare is making that nice and easy. Um, let me turn it down for just a sec. Show you my French uh, treasure. So, what you're supposed to do is you have the cloudstone out, you have nettle and heritage, and then if you play, say, uh, elvish mystic. You tap all three after the uh, Inch of the Battlefield trigger goes off. In response to it, you tap all three. Uh, you cast your Elvish Mystic. You bring back Heritage Druid. You play Heritage Druid, untap Nettle Sentinel, trigger, bring back the one drop. Play it again, tap. Notice that in the process of doing this, you've netted one mana. You went for, you now make three, and you had one floating from before. Let's say that we replace the Elvish Mystic. We we'll do the same thing with an Elvish Visionary. In this case, we don't net any mana, but we draw a card, and we can draw this until we find a one drop and gain infinite mana. So infinite mana, infinite card draw, with the Alyssa, uh, Alyssa Hana, Alyssa Hana, well, Alyssa Lana, whatever, I can't speak today. Huntmaster, we get infinite one ones. With Crater Hook Behemoth, that means that we have infinite power and toughness, and then we just win. That's the ideal. That's what we're trying to do. So this deck, however, because Green Sun Zenith is banned, has a hard time building its combo. So what do we do? Well, I could do Court of Calling, but I'd like to have something repeatable. Uh, so instead, I went for Birthing Pod. We put all this back. Uh, I said instead went for Birthing Pod. Now, Birthing Pod has an. I mean, on the one hand, it's repeatable, but on the other hand, how do you find one drops? Because you have to go up the staircase or escalator, as the case may be. Uh, since these combo pieces are one drops, how do we go and get them? Well, there's two ways that I came up with. 
First is you fetch, using your 11 fetch lands, into a Dryad Arbor, and it's a zero drop creature, pod into whichever one you need, or you get out your Imperious Perfect and make a token, and you can make a token each turn to go get a one drop each turn. So that's nice. Other than that, uh, that's the way that it's supposed to assemble the creature section of the combat. Unfortunately, there are no, at least as far as I'm aware, there are no modern legal ways to search out for Cloudstone Curry out that, uh, that involve creatures. You can use Fabricate, but that's not a creature I can pot into. You can use Trinket Mage, but that's only one or lower. You can use Treasure Mage, but that's only six or higher. So I can't find a way to get that out. So what do I do? I try to win off the backup plan, the same way that Malira Pod, Angel Pod, Kiki Pod, to a lesser extent, they don't need the combo to win. So that's what the rest of this deck up here is for. That's what everything else up here is meant to do. Most of the games that I've won today, I won off of an Azuri being overrun. Once you just get enough mana and have enough elves, it's very hard for a lot of opponents to beat that. I also got kind of lucky today in that I ran against a lot of green, and green doesn't have a lot of destruction. It doesn't have destruction unless you fly or splash. Um, Scrib Ranger gets a little bit of work done. Being able to untap, say, an Arch Druid, and if I miss my land drop, I just return a forest and play it again. That's why Gush is banned in Legacy, right? Um, I have Viridian Zealot and Reclamation Sage for artifact and enchantment destruction. Two drop and then a three drop. Make the pot a little bit easier, if, uh, more able to find them. Here's a card that never actually showed up today because didn't really... Actually, with the I went against two Merfolk decks and a mono green ramp deck, so the only one this could have done anything for is Malira Pod, uh, and you just didn't show up at the time. And then you can probably guess why. Uh, Elvish Harbinger, I pod into it, and then use it to find another piece. So if I can't pod into my one drop, I pod into this and find a piece, find a one drop piece. Put it on top of the deck. Uh, Phyrexian Revoker, Spellskite, Scavenging Ooze, they just solve problematic ways that they can kill me. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, and that's pretty much it, actually. Uh, the sideboard. Let's see if we can take a a look over at the sideboard before the camera dies. So we've got Malira, Sylvan Outcast, we've got a Kasali Pride Mage, another destruction spell, Aegis of the Gods, give me Hexproof, Wanna Stop Storm, even though this hurts me, I think it hurts them more, I can still win, uh, Thalia, kind of the same, I don't run a lot of non-creatures, this is just for problematic big stuff, and Rockul or Iona, stuff like that, Phyrexian Metamorph, I want to copy your pod, or another problematic permanent. Uh, thought seize, thought seize, thought seize. Abrupt, abrupt, abrupt. Oh, no, I want to Creeping that. Corrosion, just <laughs> because screw affinity. And this card is a proxy. It has not come in yet. It is a Gaia's Herald. You can read what it says on there. I think it's an Elf Shaman. No, that's not fair. Anyway, one green creature can be countered. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.